The month of August has finally concluded. Initially, what seemed to be a rather mundane month turned out to be one of the greatest of 2019. September is here and it's already looking to be an incredible month. Today, I will be discussing sneakers to resell in the month of September. If you're not into reselling, that's completely fine. You could use this also as a guide to know what shoes are going to be the most hyped, which are going to be the most limited, or even which popular general releases you could pick up for sale prices instead of paying full retail because, hey, we're all trying to save a little bit of money too. To be specific, I will be going over the name of the sneaker, the retail, the release date, and whether they will be profitable or not, or even if they sit on shelves. Some things will change throughout the month along with some new releases that may pop up, so feel free to subscribe and turn on post notifications just to stay 100% updated. Taking it off, September 4th for $300, the Yeezy 700 Magnet will drop. To most, this seems like another brick, but these have yet to load anywhere. Not only this, but on Yeezy Supply, it literally states that they're a Yeezy Supply exclusive. This at least means you should be going for sizes under 7, and even sizes 7 to 12 could get you small profit, although it might not be the best margin, considering the retail is a whopping $300. Regardless though, although 700s normally are a sneaker to sleep on, there is a lot of demand on this shoe, and obviously it is decently limited, considering it's a Yeezy Supply exclusive, hence we should definitely be going for for this shoe. Moving on, according to Drops by J, three Supreme Nike SBs are set to drop September 5th. Retail is only $110, so not only are these going to be very profitable, they, but they will also bring a fantastic margin. Also, September 5th for $190, the Jordan 10 Camo will be dropping. If anyone wants a personal, I would suggest actually waiting for a sale price on these rather than paying the full retail. Moving on to September 7th for $300, the Yeezy 700 Inertia V2 will be dropping. The colorway actually looks very nice in my opinion at least, but you know, that doesn't really matter. We should expect there to be at most small profit to be made in sizes under 7 and of course when it comes to any Yeezy, sizes over 14 do tend to do well of course because they're extremely limited. In regards to the other common sizes, if you did want a personal pair I would not suggest sleeping because they will go quick. Moving to the 12th and also the 15th, we will see the Sakai Waffles drop for only $155 along with the exclusive pairs for the Sakai Blazers and also the Waffle. These come with unique accessories which I think aren't really my thing but you know they're definitely going to be going for more money compared to the original pairs because they include those but regardless all of the sack guys all the blazers they're going to have great margins they're going to bring you great profits so i would not stress about any of these moving to the 13th for 180 dollars the kobe 4 pro Tro black mamba will be dropping this pair will do very well similar to how the purple pair the laker pair did these are certainly going to be very profitable and of course smaller sizes are going to be better just like they were in the other colorways moving on also on the 13th for 220 dollars each not to 50 this time four trail human races will be dropping for $30 lower than the retail which gives us a lot of wiggle room for profit although it's not going to be anything significant as usual with these human races but that extra $30 does give us some leeway for some small profit or lunch money at least in sizes under seven I would suggest going for these also the 13th for $160 the adidas solar human races will be dropping in four colorways I would not suggest sleeping on these if you did want a personal however regarding resale I really can't guarantee much especially this far out however I would like to know if you do plan on going any I would venture to guess that the yellow solid pair also the red solid pair would have the most demand and adidas.com does have free returns also the 13th and 14th the Travis Scott Jordan 6s will be dropping for $250 regardless of the higher retail in comparison to other Jordan 6s there still there still is loads of profit to be made with this with still a fantastic margin going full throttle on this release of course Moving to the 19th for $140, the black and white Sakai Blazers. Now, we talked about the waffles before. These are, these are the non-exclusive pairs without the accessories. These are still going to be very, very good profit. And just like the previous pairs, the smaller the size, the better it's going to be. But even with those sizes above 10, the bigger sizes, although they might not be the best margin in comparison to the other ones, still a great margin, still very profitable. Moving to the 19th, now we're going to talk about some Yeezys. We'll jump around with the dates a little just because I want to keep them all together right now. First of all, the white reflective, the cloud white reflective drop for 220 and on the 26th, the reflective Citron drops for 220 as well, according to Yeezy Mafia. Both are going to be
to be very, very profitable. And of course, they're going to bring great margins just because not only are they extremely limited, but of course, being the reflective Yeezys, because they're limited, it brings a lot of demand. It's sort of like a paradox with these shoes, as you guys. Anyway, on the 21st, the normal Cloud 350s, and also on the 26th, the normal Citron Yeezys are both dropping for 220. Both still have great profit to be made just because there's a lot of demand on these. And you know, stock isn't too incredible. Of course, sizes under seven are gonna be incredible. And then when it comes to the sizes seven to 12, there still is some small profit to be made, perhaps even a little bit more than that. So of course, I would suggest going for these. And obviously sizes over 14 and any Yeezy are gonna be fantastic. Highly suggested, you know, you just go full throttle on these. Regarding the power phases that are dropping on the 18th for $120, I would not sleep for personal because it wouldn't be too much under retail if they did happen to jump under retail. So if you did plan on getting it personal, if you did happen to like these, feel free to just cop them for 120. It should be an easy cop. I would expect these to sit on adidas.com perhaps, unless of course there's any updates. I'll, up I'll update you guys later in the month. Also on the 20th, courtesy of Pirates, the Air Max 90 undefeated will be dropping for $150. But you shouldn't expect this pair to do just like the 97s did, even those 97s initially weren't doing as crazy as they were now. You should be able to make at least small profit when it comes to sizes above 10 in Air Maxes. You actually want to go for the bigger sizes. In regards to anything smaller, I can't guarantee anything this far out, but I know the release date is the 20th. Regarding the undefeated release date, that is going to be different. I would expect that to be earlier for online and also in-store. They should post on their Instagram. Moving to the 26th for $160, the Jordan 1 First Class will be dropping. There should be easy small profit to be made when it comes to sizes under 10, so I would not sleep and especially if you did want a personal pair when it comes to any sizes I would expect these to sell out so don't go waiting for a sale on these and you know they're not bad in my opinion I think they look quite nice then I just wanted to bulk up some Jordans that were general releases together because I feel like a lot of you guys don't really care about them but for those who do those Jordan lovers who like the GRs too I'm gonna mention these so September 7th for $200 the FIBA Jordan 4 will be dropping I would highly suggest you wait for sales on these I mean even when they did the shock drop on Nike sneakers and you know sneakers does free returns they sat for quite a bit. Um, anyway, there's there's plenty of retailers getting these. I would highly suggest waiting until you can find these for under retail. Moving on, the Jordan 3 Knicks, I would highly suggest waiting for sales on these as well. The drop is set for the 14th for $190. Then the Jordan 4 Women's, if you did need a personal and have a big foot, I would not suggest sleeping for personal, but anything smaller, you probably will be able to find for under $190, if not on sale, perhaps in the secondary market. September 21st, the Jordan 12 Game Royal will be dropping, and the same thing goes for this as with the Jordan Jordan 3s and also the Jordan 4s, I would suggest waiting for a sale price if you did want a personal. Finally, on the 28th, the Hospital Blue Yeezy 700 will be dropping for $300. When it comes to these pairs, I would only suggest going for sizes over 14. Even sizes under 7, I can't see them being too profitable, especially if you have high tax. Maybe you make a little bit of lunch money at best with a terrible margin, but that's all I could say. Then just to finish it off, I wanted to mention a couple of drops that do not have confirmed dates as of now. So first of all, the the off-white racers should be dropping this month in three colorways. $150 each. There's essentially only small profit to be made with these. It's going to be similar to what we saw with the Off-White Kygers, and the best sizes to go for these would be 9.5 to 11, but it is going to fluctuate. Then also throughout this month, you'll see the Court Purple Lows drop, and also the Sand Purple Mids drop for $90 and $110. All of these should be easy profit when it comes to sizes under 9, and even for the mids, I would also suggest going for sizes 9 and 9.5. But with that, I'm going to conclude today. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed, or if you perhaps learn a thing or two. Also subscribe and turn on post notifications just to stay 100% updated on anything I mentioned. With that, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Now I can't run and I can't walk. You hit me so hard, I don't want to talk. Get your foot off my foot. Ah. Why are you always in my way? Knocking me over every single day. Get your foot off my foot. Ah.